What's up, Jet Nation? This is Green Bean spending my last day at Patton Pond here in Maine, and we're going to get into the cornerback position and one cornerback in particular when I come back. All right, everybody, this is Green Bean. That's right, I am in Maine having a delightful time. I'm just outside of Acadia National Park. And uh, I couldn't be sadder that I'm leaving, even though I'm looking forward to going to New Hampshire next. I'm sad to leave this place. I'm not going to miss all the Patriot fans. Well, technically, New Hampshire is still New England, right? So I'm going to deal with it. But uh, lots of lots of baloney up here with that. <laughs> if you uh, if you can believe that, Patriot fans see my green bean jet stuff driving around, and they they gotta they gotta talk to me. And you know the way it goes. But the, here's the thing with the Patriot fans is that we have ammo now because they haven't done a damn thing without Tom Brady ever, ever. They've never done a thing without Tom Brady. Even their Super Bowl before Tom Brady, they lost. So they don't have much without this guy. And guess where he is? Not New England. So they're going to have to get used to sucking just like everybody else. And that's going to be fun, and they don't know how to deal with it. They're all talking about being Tampa Bay fans and blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. So anyway, <laughs> I'll be leaving this place, steadily making my way out of New England, and that's nice and fun. So we're going to get into the cornerbacks today. And it's interesting with the Jets because I get into these conversations with everybody about our cornerbacks. Everybody says they like what Joe Douglas has been doing. You know, they like the offensive line rebuild. They love the skill positions. They like the quarterback. They like the draft. But the main area of concern is our cornerbacks. So who do we have? We have Bryce Hall, Blesson Austin, kind of the presumptive starters. Maybe draft picks Jason Pinnock, Michael Carter II making their way in. We have Javelin Guidry and Lamar Jackson from last year's undrafted free agent class. And we have Isaiah Dunn. Kind of surprising everybody. People talking about him being the starter, but no matter how you slice it, there's very little vet leadership. We're talking about Bless on Austin being the vet with a, a big fat three years of experience, right? So, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of concern. Well, you know, where are we going to get a cornerback? There's a few names out there. So we have Richard Sherman with the connection to Salah, obviously. Then we have Steven Nelson, recent cut from the Steelers. And then there's another guy out there, talked about less, but we know him best. And that's Brian Poole. So what's the deal with Brian Poole? Seems to be a good cornerback. He was the 13th Highest ranked cornerback in the league with coverage and yardage against. He was the third overall slot corner in the NFL. Third overall. That's top five. That's top three. Hold on. That's a top three corner, man. At his position. So what is the deal with Brian Poole? So I've been looking. I can't find too much on injuries on him. So... The word on the street is Brian Poole is probably just pricing himself out, which is weird because cornerbacks are, a, they're considered a premium position. So if a cornerback is a premium position, he's a top three cornerback for the slot. In the NFL, top 15 cornerback overall, why is he not able to get a contract? His last two contracts, totaled eight million dollars for the past two years totaled not per year he made eight million dollars in the past two years even last year we thought he was going to get a big contract and he came back to the jets on a one-year deal for five million which is just crazy so we don't know what the deal is with this guy but even when teams when fans talk about the cornerbacks that are out there brian Poole is rarely mentioned so what is it with this guy no one seems to know, but it has to be a money thing. He's got to be pricing himself out and or waiting for a team that's a winner. That's that's one of the other thoughts with Brian Poole is that he's done. He's done losing. Came He spent some time in Atlanta, and then now he went to the Jets for the past couple of years, and obviously we sucked. So there's all that. He was here for the Adam Gase era. 
<laughs> fun, fun. Morning. How you doing, man? So I read an article uh, from somebody talking about the cornerbacks, and that was something that they said, the available quarterbacks. Cornerback, somebody talking about the available cornerbacks in free agency right now. And they mentioned that Brian Poole just might not want to play for a loser that he's done. But on the other side, it doesn't seem like the Jets are very interested in him at all. We, we haven't heard a peep about interest in Brian Poole. Now, in the defense of this situation, we don't, have, we don't hear much about what the Jets are doing. We did hear some, some whispers about the Morgan Moses thing for a change, but up till Morgan Moses, we haven't heard about anything. We didn't hear about Corey Davis, Carl Lawson. Didn't hear about Keelan Cole. Didn't hear about anything as far as our free agent acquisitions prior to. So who knows? Maybe they're in, the, in negotiations with Brian Poole right now. But it's an interesting thing because, again, top three slot corner in the NFL is available. Not only is he not being pursued by the team that had him the last couple of years, and the team happened to hire his previous defensive coordinator. So there's all kinds of connections to Brian Poole. And we're not into him. And no other team seems to be into him as well because he's not signed. And then he's not even mentioned with the top cornerbacks left out there when they make these articles or fans get into conversations and stuff. So I wanted to ask you, what do you think about Brian Poole? Like we're probably going to end up starting Michael Carter II in our slot. Maybe Javelin Guidry, who I don't like that much, by the way. I know a lot of people like him, but I don't. So there could be a Brian Poole signing in our future in the event Michael Carter II is a big old fashioned flop or Rooney or Javelin Guidry can't, can't hold it up or Eccles, the other draft pick. Any of these guys in the slot can't figure it out and they, the organization sees, the coaching staff sees like, all right, man, we might be in trouble here. We could see Brian Poole being called up, especially because Jets have history with him and Ulbrich has history with him. So who knows? But there's something there. So I'll ask you, anybody know what the deal is with Brian Poole? And if we signed him, would that make you happy? Or are you okay going into the season with the cornerbacks that we have? What say you? I know how I feel. I want to hear how you feel. So let me know what you're thinking in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe right here on Jet Nation's YouTube. You can also go to my Green Bean Jets fan YouTube page. And you can follow my full-time coaster tour, full-time coaster tour on YouTube as well. And don't forget, go Jets.